The Jagdpanzer 38, or Tank Destroyer 38, commonly known post-war as the Hetzer. Likely inspired by the Romanian Marshal, the Hetzer is an interesting looking tank with purpose. Built to hide and defend against enemy tanks with its low profile and strong front armor, at 60mm sloped at 60 degrees, this tank was good at ranged head-on ambushes. Obviously the Hetzer lacks a turret, but if it could be positioned at predictable lines of attack, its powerful 7.5cm Pac-39 L-48 gun could take on most Allied tanks. The Hetzer was built towards the end of the war, with mass production starting in 1944, when Germany was on the defensive, so it was well suited to the tactics of this period. It was also well suited in that it was inexpensive to produce at the time, when Germany's resources were stretched. The Hetzer was manufactured on the Czechoslovakian Panzer 38T chassis, just as the Marder III was. This was a reliable design, and 2,800 would be built by the end of the war. In terms of manpower and cost, Germany could produce nearly four Hetzers for every one Tiger. Powered by a six-cylinder engine with a combat weight of just 16 tons, it was also a lot lighter on fuel consumption. The Hetzer's weakness was its side armor, which could be penetrated even by anti-tank rifles. This tank could not afford to be flanked at any cost. Also, given its size, it could not hold significant ammo, carrying only 41 rounds for its main gun. The size, of course, was also its strength. The Hetzer was tiny at only 1.84 meters. Hard to hit, but with a cramped crew compartment. Interestingly, by the end of the war, 50 Hetzers would be made with flamethrowers designated Flammpanzer 38s. The Hetzer would also be one of the few armored vehicles to have the remote-controlled machine gun mount, which could be fired from within the vehicle. I'm Johnny, thanks for watching this Hetzer Brief. If you want to support my channel, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you next time.